We live, baby. We live. being attacked. Better hurry. Just hit him. Streets are just a little bit safer now, thanks to Spider-Man. I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. 
Right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask is calling? <laughs> oh, of course. What I'm through. That data is not compatible with the AI learning it did in the last month. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yeah. And it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Bees? You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. 
Your doctor is the lizard? Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony is Have you been out to the Hudson Valley facility? Yeah, once. It's hey, impressive. what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Imagine coming to work here every day. Veronica. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment.
really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rigor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. This way! Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Let's see. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. If I combine these traits...
One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I... Put it. Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. So I was just looking over your data. Um, were all the samples showing uh, Come on! I'm so excited for you to see this. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Swipe. I really think we need more security. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. You join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one quick thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. I forgot to tell you, some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. 
I've sent you the location, so that your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborn, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player, if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborne, your foundation has a lot of work to do repairing your father's legacy. But, so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever. Do you. Later. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Take Lee and Jargon! Criminals? Not far. They're in 
not ominous at all. Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline. Going through the city like it's an obstacle course never gets old. I'm getting to do real science, though. With actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. You could daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Gun? That actually works? Up, up, and you won't get away! Cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention! But Scorpion is? Okay! Give him the You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times! And yet you always held back! By not killing him? Yeah, killing really isn't my thing! your boss. Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Oh, come on, Birdie, let go! Come on! Not buy a ticket for this ride! I'm gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can take up some building records. Where are we going now? Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? <laughs> I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop.
draw one of them away. fast you find something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of accents hmm international mercenaries that's what I'm thinking could be front page material for your article I'm writing it up now thanks oh and speaking of work I accepted Harry's offer that's fantastic we should celebrate later after you're done with your current work totally talk soon A lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. incident I got put on what do they call it uh, leave of absence so I torched their building nice <laughs> hold up in my place afterwards <laughs> come for me. but it was Craven who did ask me if I wanted to hunt real game and here I am out of boy movement over there That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy 
for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking fields operational. Good. Beetles. Talon drones. Ammunition. Rations. Hmm. Still missing some shipments. <gasps> are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well connected. Or both. had lived there all his life. Knew the trails perfectly. It makes sense. His age is what did him in. He got impatient. Against the one man who served him. You think another country will challenge Craven here? Only if they are fools. Look around. Craven has given us the greatest chance of our lives. We were aiming But here? Truly is the land. night. to next. <laughs> Looks like this is the only way. Search lab? Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. Of 
Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. That's the Tiara Abitai. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Craven's studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpowered gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Are they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa. And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. Some mine outside south. There was a man here who killed close to a hundred workers. Craven was young, proud, and he tracked the lion easily. But it took a few hours. Damn. When he finally got close enough to draw his blade, the lion was stronger, faster, more cunning. It was only through luck that he managed to strike a killing blow. The sensation. Never been so close before. So he took that mane as a reminder. And like a bloodhound, he uses it to find killers who think of him just as much as the man eater. A true, true hunter.
I hear you were not impressed by the Scorpio. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't impressed. Relying on hallucinogens and playing with your prey, it's just not the way I hunt. But I can still <laughs> right here. some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. Never gonna win best in show with that attitude. <laughs> nice doggy kitty robot. <laughs> Oh, 
Those teeth are no joke. Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Finally! I was wondering when animal control would show up. Say. 